those of you that follow the stuff that happens on the Facebook page, um, I probably only put up about one in 10 articles about security just because it would get to be so many. So just note security is everything right now. Okay. In the old days, so in the good old days, we'll call them the good old days. In the good old days, we had a bunch of punk kids. I don't know, nerds, whatever you want to call them. I'm a nerd, right? Punk kids that wanted attention. That's what I am. And now I get to be on TV, right? So in the good old days, security problems were basically from punk kids. Oops. I have to put this on here. They wanted to show off their elite skills. And the clever kids put one, three, three, seven. So that meant elite, right? You guys see that? L-E-E-T. Come on, that's awesome. And then they put a Z on the end of skills just to show they were kids. Not just that. Anyway, by the way, I'll, you say this now. And so the old guys like people like me will be like you punk kids quit doing this and then the punk kids will be like you called us a punk I'll show you and then they do something to him there's this poor guy that does he's an old guy like me and he does security consulting and and the kids are always doing the tricks of like delivering pizzas to his house and then a while back they had the cops come on the guy like a lot of cops they call it swatting like you send the SWAT team that's awesome Now, so within, I guess, probably the last five to 10 years, the main concern, oops, concern is uh, real crooks, okay? And what they want is money. We'll put the fancy term for it. You want money, financial, oops. So nowadays, it's a lot of crooks out there, okay? Now, so security really has two things to it. And I will just note right now, also, oops. Security also means what some people will call assurance. So some people will say we're doing security and assurance. But assurance means your network and your services will remain available. Okay? So they go hand in hand. So if we look back over here to our little heart, be heart bleed problem, you can see if you got hit with a heart bleed problem that it's going to make it hard until you fix this to offer people a service that they can trust, right? But if you had been secure, you're going to keep your network and your services available. So they do, I mean, it's hand in hand, but just remember security is also about assurance, okay? There's other things that go after assurance. We call them denial of service attacks is directly going after assurance. So they want to take you out. Does that make sense? Service is available. A denial of service means they make your service not available. If you get infected, for example, with a virus, or there are also natural disasters. Okay. So security is not just about getting hacked into. It's also about recovering from other problems or preventing a lot of damages. Okay? Well, this is fun. So threats. The main source of threats is user actions. Okay? And it's funny, we're so mean. 
I mean, this one is hardly a user action, right? Our heart bleed problem. This is really a technical, like, we did this. But if you look at, like, the baby monitoring thing, it's that the user just wanted something to work well and easily for them, and then that just meant it, so they got hacked. By the way, wait till your fridge is here, right? And you want to check on the temperature of your fridge? I don't know. But I worry about things like, you know, Cox will sell the alarm system that you can access over the internet and turn your lights on and off. That is, that's scary stuff. We'll talk about one, some of the ways we get around that too, but anyway. So the threats mainly are from user actions. That is, they want convenience. And let's remember, our users just want to get their work done, too. 